I'm Kate and I make junk journals. And today we're gonna make this flat stacked pocket page with five pockets. So here we are again, back in my room and not in that fancy studio. If you watched last week's video, then you saw when my mother-in-law was in town and we made a video about all the junk journaling terms that we could think of and defined them and showed examples. And isn't she fabulous? She is so smart and she knows so much about art and junk journaling and she's such a great teacher. So I'm really fortunate to have her as a resource. And speaking of resources, I wanna to talk to you more about the YouTube studio and my amazing dad and all the things that we're doing together. But I'll wait till the end of the video because because I'm sure some of you guys don't really care about what's going on in my life and you just want to craft. But for those of you who are interested or just bored and want something to watch, then you can watch that at the end of the video. So let's get crafting. So you may recall we started working on this whole series and I was like, this one's going to be my junk journal. Well, that was my plan, but like all my plans, they change. What happened is I saw somebody who was kind of sewing up some paper and I thought I'd try it. I ended up making this really cool pocket journal cover, um, but I made it a different size than the journal I was working on. I love this so much and it called to my heart and I was like, this will be my journal. I'm not done with this yet, so it will not really be a Raisin Bran box. So then I was like, oh crap, I just made this journal for myself. And while yes, technically I could have two journals, I always wanna make more journals, so why would I stack them up when I could just make future journals? I'm probably gonna be putting this one on my Etsy site when we're done with that series. And this is my new journal. And I started making pages that fit this journal and I'm super excited about it. Oh, I remember why I made it this size. I saw somebody's video where they just made a journal that was completely just like envelopes sewn in and like the envelopes are the pages and you don't really have signatures you just like sew in the envelopes and I was like that's such a cool idea I want to try that so I made a bunch of envelopes using on the back of my scoreboard there's instructions on how to make an envelope so I just followed that and I made whatever the biggest size was and then I made the cover to match and I was just gonna have like an envelope book but then I made it way too cute and I was like okay I want that so bad so I am going to still incorporate some of these envelopes in but I'm gonna abandon that idea and so I'm working kind of on these two projects simultaneously so this one's kind of fun because I've been able to just do some crafting by myself without videoing it and I really am trying to give myself more just like solo crafting time instead of just making tutorials because that is way more fun and that's when I get all of my ideas for my tutorials so we're going to copy this front page that I did and we're gonna make another one in the journal that we've been working on. So the concept to this, this is actually gonna be the outside of my signature. So I wanted the front to be really flat because when you open the book and then you see the first page, I usually just leave it blank because it's kind of protecting all the pages inside and lots of my pages are very interactive. So I don't want it to be like, I don't know, too bulky or too much too soon. So I was gonna do something very simple, but of course, I just had to add a few more layers than I was planning on. So it, I came up with this. And I really love this because it does look really simple. Like this does not look like a big complicated thing. There's actually three pockets. So it's really cool that it's sort of deceiving. So let me just kind of show you. It's not really a flip through because I'm not flipping anything. It's more of a pull through, pull out through, pocket through. I don't know, we'll work on that term later. But basically it's just, there's a pocket here and that folds open goes back in there and then there's a pocket here and that's a cute little card and that's a pocket here and that folds out oh and look another little pocket who knew put that back in okay so this should be nice and simple let's do this okay so we're basically we just have these two pages that we've done so far we've got our quadruple triangle pocket and our five panel fold out so we can either do this one or this one and I'm gonna do this one because I don't want this to be too lopsided and I want this side to be a little bit heavier so that it's not pulling just on that side and this is a pretty lightweight page so let's do the back of this one so really all we need is three layers of different sizes and this is just a little journaling card that I got and I can put the link for these in the description below because I've really been enjoying using these. And I think there was like something at the top of it, but I just covered up with this flower. So I can either choose one where I love the saying on it, or I can choose one that I want to cover up. I'm going to choose this one because I like that little burst of burstiness, firework, sparkle, something, that thing. And I can cover that up because as much as I want to say big yikes, I don't really want to say that. Nothing a little embellishment can't fix. Okay, so now we just need two more papers and I'm gonna look at my scrap 
paper. Let's see, what do we have? So because this is pretty busy and light, I want something that's not gonna blend with the background. So if I did something like this that has white and dark and kind of organic like that, see how it's just like blech, like barfy, everything kind of blends in. But if I did something like that, then all of a sudden there's like more of a definition. It can still have a pattern, just not quite as busy so it doesn't blend or at least like different tones. This is not big enough, though that would have been great. Let's find something perfect. Come here, perfect thing. Maybe that, maybe that. Ah, what is this doing here? Throw that away. Ooh, this could be cool. Probably not that, but throw it in there. Maybe that, love choices. Just throw in some more for good measure. And okay, that's probably plenty. If I can't find it among these scraps, then it's a lost cause. So something like this, super awesome. It's kind of like the one I showed you before that was pink, except for it's big enough. I can then decide if I want See, I probably don't want anything with white in it. Ooh, what's happening here? <gasps> what if we added one more for fun though? Don't we have to like up everything, right? We can't do the same thing. I wonder how many layers we could do. So much potential. Okay, let's just start with this and see if we can actually squish all these layers on there and have more pockets. So the first thing we need to do is chop our bottom layer um, to be probably like a quarter of an inch border at least. You can see this one's kind of a quarter of an inch border and then we need to make a little room for the pocket and then this one's more like half an inch. So, you know, they can be varied and different but if we're gonna try to squish a lot more on then we should probably keep them about a quarter of an inch. So let's get a pen and so if this is a pocket, we want it to be a little bit further and so I'll mark it somewhere like that. Okay, layer one is done. So what we might have to do is make this second one a pocket beneath, I think. So I'm gonna mark it to be about a quarter of an inch on these three sides and I'm just eyeballing it. And then a little bit more down below. So something more like a half inch there. Before I start gluing them, I just wanna cut them all out to see if that is really all gonna fit. And then I can kind of adjust if it doesn't. Okay, I think I can actually go thinner on this one. Trim it there. I think it needs to be a little bit skinnier so that we can squish those two back ones on. Yeah, that's better. So that'll squish on there. And then I wanna make a little bit of room to the side, but not a ton of room because we don't have a lot of space. So I'm gonna cut it somewhere there and then we'll go about a quarter inch below. Cut there. Okay, and then we'll take this and I'm gonna have it be a pocket on the top. So I'm gonna trim, oh my gosh, is this gonna fit? We're gonna barely have a border. I gotta squish it on there. And then at the bottom somewhere like that. Okay, does that fit? Yes, that barely fits, but it fits. All right, so we have all our layers and now I'm going to just ink the edges and we can start gluing them on. So should we use tattered rose or weathered wood? Or when my mother-in-law was in town, she bought me a speckled egg. She uses distress oxides all the time and she has like a ton. So I was telling her that I wanted to grow mine, but it's kind of hard because I just do it like one at a time and I want to make sure they all go together and that I can use them all. So she helped me pick out this color because she thought it would go with a lot of the colors that I'm working on and go well with the inks that I already have. So let's do that. I'm just going to take some of this ink and brush it to create some texture and dimension and separation between the layers so that it's easier to see them. Okay, so now that we have those, we can start gluing these down. And I think I'm gonna start from front to back. So I have to decide, do I want the card on that side or on that side? And I feel like I want the card on that side. So I'm just gonna take my glue and I'm using Beacon Fabri-Tac because they didn't have three in one when I went to the store, but I like this just as much. It's just more expensive. So I usually get three in one. I'm gonna glue these three sides to make a sideways pocket. Oh, I love new glue. Is there anything better than new glue? Yeah, there totally is. Now that I say that, I can think of like literally a million things better than new glue. New clothes, a vacation, chocolate, but new glue still is great. Let's put that on there. And then because I'm gonna put something here, maybe I should find that now so that I know where to put things. Let's do that. Look at me thinking ahead. Got my box of cute stuff. Let's see what we wanna put there. <gasps> Picture perfect, and there's a camera. Is that too matchy matchy? I don't know if I wanna to put too many layers since it's already so layered. Maybe like a little cluster on so many stack papers. It's a bad idea. What 
if I did something like that. Is that too cheesy? Maybe I like cheesy. I feel like rounded corners would be better. Then maybe it will stand apart from all those other squared off edges behind it. And it won't look just like another layer, but more of like an embellishment. Well, so much for loving that little burst. That sacrifices must be made. Okay, so we're gonna have the pocket on the bottom so that we can glue this camera to everything behind it. It won't get in the way of any pockets. So I'm gonna glue these three sides for the upside down pocket. Okay, putting it kind of close to the top, leaving that space on the bottom. And then let's see, this is still going to overlap that top, which is fine because we were gonna do a side pocket for this one, weren't we? Because this front one, we're having a pocket on this side, I want to have the pocket on this side so that we kind of have pockets sticking out each way. So I'm gonna glue the back here, here, and here. Okay, I'll just slide it over to the right a little bit to make room for that card. Can we finally have a pocket on the top? I think we can do it. You know, I bet we could turn this down a little bit more, give ourselves a little bit more room. There we go. I've got plenty of room. Okay, so we can totally do a top pocket. So we're going to glue the back of this here, here, and here. Put it close to the bottom. Hmm, that's kind of a lot of space on the top, isn't it? That's okay. I can have a card peek through a lot there. And now we're gonna put it on here. How shall we attach it? Another top pocket, another bottom pocket. Do we have room for a side pocket? Not really. So let's do, I think we'll do another top pocket. So I'm gonna glue the back here, here, and here. Hmm. I'll put that kind of close to the bottom. So there's room above. Let me open this up so I can press this down nice and flat. Make sure it's not crooked, or at least too crooked. Okay, so now let's take this and can dust the edges just a little bit with some ink. Should I make this a tuck? Ah, is that too crazy? It is kind of crazy. Well, maybe it should be down here then if it is gonna be a tuck. Let's think about this. Let's do it. Good thing I didn't glue these at first or we would have had one less layer. Okay, so I just glued one little strip at the bottom so that I can tuck in a little card on top and it will hold it in. And then this, should I make a mini belly band? That would look weird, right? It would ruin the whole aesthetic. We're not gonna do that. That would be one thing too many. Okay, now we need to find cards to fit in all of those pockets. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of randomly grab them and see which one they fit in. And it looks like this one fits here, so I'm gonna put it in all the way. Then I'm gonna fold it over and crease it how far I want it to stick out. So I'll just crease the corner there so that I can kind of make sure I'm folding this straight. And then that can just slide in there. Okay, what else do we have? This, does this fit anywhere? Maybe down here? Okay, good, it looks like it stops right there. So it's not gonna get lost behind there, but we can pull it out a little bit more so that we can see it a little bit better. What else do we have? What do I have? Hmm, does this fit? This seems like something that could be cool. Look at that! Oh my gosh, I'm like getting a little too lucky with these tags. It's almost suspicious. Usually I feel like it's a lot more work to find things to fit. Is this the same size? Maybe I like this better. Okay. What? How come that didn't fit? Was I deceived the first time? I knew it was too good to be true. I must have not just pushed hard enough. It's okay, let's give this a tab. Or wait, are we using this one? I don't know. I'm actually gonna stick with that one. Okay, let's glue it up a little bit. And then I have some little tabs. Mm, too bright, too thick. Nope, 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 nope. Do it now. A little bossy, but maybe good. Fabulous. Oh, we don't wanna, it'll be like do now picture perfect. That's ridiculous. Fabulous picture perfect. These are a little too plain. Let's be fabulous. They have just like these two little stickers on. These things are so cool. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. Stick that on there. Fabulous. Ha ha ha. That should be long enough now, right? No, that's okay. No one is gonna shove it in that deep. You have to kind of work to get it that deep. There's enough friction to keep it up. It's not gonna fall down. And if it does, it's like, you can still see it a little bit. It's not gonna get lost. That's my main concern. We don't wanna lose anything. Ooh, maybe this could go there. No, it's a terrible idea. Isn't there a side pocket? Oh, it's here, that's right. We need a little one for that. Looking for a tag. Tag, tag, tag. What's this? Can that fit back there? Ooh, 
I'm gonna trim it down a little bit more because I don't want it sticking up, but that'll be a holding place. So we have the back layer has that, then that, then this, then that. So really we just need this and this. It's hard to keep track of all these layers, but we're doing good. But I think we've got it. Oh, if I do that, it covers up picture perfect, which maybe is good because maybe it's like secret surprise, picture perfect. Or maybe we do it that way or maybe we find something totally different. But I like this. We'll see. Let's not think about that. Let's find something for that. Oh, maybe something like this and then we'll fold it in half. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna fold it to where we want it to stick out to. There, we'll do another little foldy guy. Just like that. And then we've got that layer taken care of. I think I do like it just like that, although it needs a little bit more definition so it pops off from the background a little bit more. There we go. It's kind of nice because it's already so stacky and it just looks stacky. Okay, for this, we're going to just cut off a little chunk. Did I cut too much or was it perfect? Hmm, I've cut a little too much. Probably should have stuck it in upside down See how much it stuck out, then marked it and cut it, but I didn't. So what we will do instead is add some ribbon. Little double knot action. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna double knot it like that. What I will do instead is kind of knot both layers together because then it will stick up straight. Since I'm kind of using this more as a tab than just tassely cuteness. So I'll just bring it through and pull the knot just like that. And then they'll stick straight up. So we'll set that down. And then these two will be like, hey, there's something down here. Come check it out. And then it's fun because then these will poke up out of the book a little bit, which is, I think, super fun. I don't know, is that too centered? That's centered, that's centered, that's centered, that's centered but kind of works for me because then there's some uniformity amongst all the crazy layered chaos. So we're gonna go with it. This looks way different from our original design that we're working from, but it's still the same concept. And you could do this like a million different ways. It's basically deck a bunch of paper and turn them all into pockets. So let's have a little look through of what we have. Back tag. And we've got this card. Come over to the side. And then this side. One below, and then our little tuck spot. So that is like packed full of fun layers that we can write on all of those. So thanks so much for crafting with me today. Please leave me a comment, hit the like button, subscribe and turn on your notifications. If you make something from this tutorial or any of my tutorials, I would love to see it. And you can email me images or videos at katesjunkjournals at gmail.com. Oh, I also wanted to tell you that I have these journaling card prompts. So I made a sheet of just a whole bunch of journaling prompts that I'm gonna be using once I finish my journal. Anyway, I typed them all up, printed them out, and then I just glued them to just random scrap paper. And then when it comes time to write in my journal, I can just put one of these down and then answer it. I do get questions a lot about writing in journals, so I'm going to be using these and I'll make a video when I use them and show you how I plan to write in my junk journal. But you can have these too. So I have a link in the description where you can download them for free. It'll take you to my Buy Me A Coffee page, which I just set up, and feel free to download them for free. But if you want to support my YouTube channel, you can also make a donation. And a few people have reached out to me wondering how they can support my YouTube channel. So if you're one of those people, thank you so much. But either way, it'd be super fun if you got these and printed them out, and then you can have them all ready when I do those videos. Okay, so let me tell you about the studio. Let me just start out by saying, I have the coolest dad. Although he's technically a lawyer, he's also a weekend filmmaker. He's made a lot of really cool short films. And he also made an amazing documentary called Baby Boomerang, all about his dad in World War II. And it's here on YouTube that you could watch it for free. You don't even have to buy the DVD. You can just click the link in the description and watch it and you totally should. And he also made my wedding video, which is hilarious and amazing. And a bunch of other fun things with his grandkids and just some projects. Anyway, so his brother was his law partner and his brother just retired and so now he has his brother's empty office and it's just this little room but my dad has always wanted a little YouTube studio room he is working on a YouTube channel where he's going to teach other weekend filmmakers like himself stuff that he's learned through his decades of filmmaking but also to try and learn new things along with his followers so that's still a work in progress 
and I've been helping him build the studio, which I am a photographer, so there is a lot that merges from the photography and video world, but I haven't had to deal with sound, and it's a lot different, and I have so much to learn, but it's been so fun because I've been learning so much, and once a week we get together, and we've been working on the studio for a couple months, and you saw it last week, it's really coming along, and we're having a desk be custom built by my amazing brother-in-law, who can like build anything, and so that hopefully will get done this weekend, and we're trying to streamline everything. Anyway, it's just been such a fun project, and I'm so lucky because he's gonna let me use it. And while it is really convenient to just do it in my bedroom, I have like a million technical errors, and my streamline is like really difficult. So I'm really excited because everything should run more smoothly, it should be better quality, and it's fun because I get to hang out with my dad. So that's why I have a fancy YouTube studio, mainly just because I'm super lucky that I have a dad who has all these resources and is willing to share them with me and teach me all this stuff. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram so you can look at my stories for that and I'll try to give you little updates as that progresses and when my dad launches his YouTube channel maybe I'll be in some behind the scenes and that will be fun. So until then I'll just be hanging out at home making some tutorial videos slowly working on the studio. So yeah that's all pretty exciting and thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week. Stay out. You can watch Miraculous. Please close the door. Come on. Okay, wash it up with a little wet cloth. Okay, put it all away when you're done. Just watch TV, kids. Leave me alone. What was he saying?